Hey everyone, well, crazy day here today. The repairs for Tootsie, they come to $1,200. I did pay for the inspection they did today, which is around $60. So it's like just below $1,200. I just hope my student loan comes in tomorrow because otherwise I won't be able to pay for it. Uh, at least not right away. There is some money. I know it's going to be coming in on Monday. And I really hope that my editor at Eagle Feather sends me some money. I mean, it won't be able to cover the whole thing. But I hate the idea of going to any of my family members for a loan. I mean, I hate doing that. I absolutely hate it. But I'm just kind of by, beside myself here as to what to do. I'm still working on my project for the Winter Festival, the juried art show, and I actually got a bit more done with the embroidery today while I was waiting at Canadian Tire for them to fix my vehicle, and then they said, oh, well, this is how much it's going to cost you. Can you do this? I was like, no. Like, if it was a couple hundred, then yeah, I could have, but 1,200? I can't do that right now. And I explained this to him, and I said, my student loans are supposed to be coming in tomorrow, but if that doesn't work, then there's another thing that'll be coming in at the end of the month. And he was like, oh, you can't have it sitting out there. I said, well, I've seen vehicles sitting out there for a few weeks at a time. I said, why can't mine sit out there, too? I said, I trust you guys, you know, and uh, so I hope that Tootsie's okay sitting out there, because my knitting <laughs> is in there, and needless to say, he... When I go to the hockey game tomorrow night, chance I'm not bringing my knitting unless my vehicle's fixed, you know, unless somebody, yeah, unless somebody's really kind and plops twelve hundred dollars um, for me. I mean, that would be I'd be eternally grateful for that. I'm not asking for that. I don't like begging, but if somebody decides to do that, I won't turn it down. I'm pretty desperate right now. And to um, get that to... Uh, I mean, selling other pieces of my artwork, I'll happily do that for earning some more money. Um, the, the mixed media project I'm doing for the Winter Festival, um, I did some more work on it today, and figuring out some of the... Uh, other crafting parts I'm putting on it. I'm not going to say anything more about it than that because it's a bit of a surprise and it's something I didn't know if I'd be able to do or not and I figured I'd give it a try tonight and holy milk cows, I'm actually not bad at it. So with that being said, what the little sampler I did is like, okay, I need it to be at least twice the width that it is right now, maybe three times the width. So I'm going to be here at my friend Pam's place tomorrow because I got the materials for it. But I knew if I had them here, uh, like it's yarn that I'm using with this. And it's not crocheting and it's not knitting. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but anyone out there who knows how I am about tackling new projects and new mediums of working with who really knows me might figure out what I'm doing with this. But in any case, um, I got a start on it, and I realized, okay, I need to make it a little bit bigger, like a little bit wider. And if I make anything else like this for, I don't know, maybe someone who means the world to me, I'd be able to make something for that individual. Maybe in the future, I don't know, I'll see how things go. But in any case, um, I'm not going to be working on the painting tonight, I'm just too tired, it's like almost... I don't know what time it is. I'm just so tired right now. Because so I've been trying to figure out the bus system within the city. It's been like years since I've really had to take it. And uh, yeah, I had to take a couple of cabs around the city, which I didn't like doing, but I had to. In fact, I even shared a, car a cab with this one, Kokum, because that's how busy the cabs were tonight. Uh, she'd been waiting near um, Dollar Tree where I've been at for a cab for over an hour and I just called in and I was waiting for about half an hour 
And the one cab pulled up and he said, well, you know what? I can take you both. I can, we can do this. We can make this work. So he, he took me over to where I was going and then he took the Kokum to her home. And I hope she got there safely. But in any case, um, I will be at the game tomorrow night. I'll be my usual ladylike loud self. If anybody goes after someone I deeply care about again, I'll probably let the same words rip from my throat as I did last game that I was at. Kind of shocked myself that I could do that, to be honest. Didn't think someone would get under my skin that much. But this was in a good way. But anyway, I better shut this thing off before I start crying. So, um, everyone out there, have a great night. Um, stay safe. It's foggy outside right now. And uh, probably see a few of you at the game. Have a good night.